What do you look like online? How are people going to find you when they're searching for you? How do you correct things if what you find online you don't like? Hi, I'm Charlie Seymour Jr. And this is Dr. Mark Cosby. And thanks for coming to this question and answer video. But make sure you stay till the end because we have a very special offer for you. That's right, so go ahead and watch. Stay for the end. Okay. What keywords give you the best results? Which keywords show no content of yours? So first of all, I think we should be clear what we mean by a keyword. Yes, keyword. What terms do people put into the search engines? We keep saying Google, but it means all the search engines because you may use Bing, something Yahoo, different. Yahoo, whatever. Right. So other people may use special ones that they have, but we keep saying Google because they are the biggest around. And clearly people don't go around saying, did you Bing this? No, they say, did you Google well, this? And there's a reason for saying Bing, that. Bing would like that, wouldn't <coughs> Bing, Did you Bing. Yahoo me lately? Did no. you Yahoo? Yahoo, yeah. Um, so. So what we want to look at here is what are those terms that they're putting in there? And they can be single word, which doesn't normally do very much, or they can be longer, which we often talk about as long tail words. Right. So phrase, again, a phrase. a phrase of what you're doing. So uh, pain in my side, type that in. What causes pain in my side, type that in. Not just appendicitis, right? right? So we need to figure out by asking our people, by finding out, by doing searches through Google mm -hmm. about what are the terms that are being used. So as you are doing an assessment, you want to put in not just your own name, not just your name and your location, you need to put in the words that you believe through your understanding and by asking people that others are already putting in to see if they find you. If you're not finding yourself high in those results, we need to do some more work on that. Well, and it, it's a very tricky thing because most of us think we know what we do. Uh, and we do, but we don't necessarily know how people think about what we do. And so it's about, you know, in, in a previous question we talked about having to take the point of view of the customer, the client, yes. the, uh, the patient when we're creating any of our content and our marketing materials. You can't just think what you would search to find you because that may not be what people are actually using. And it's amazing how subtle the distinctions can be right. in terms of you know, a word that you would think is just, well, that's what I said. Well, no, it's not what you said. Um, and we, we need to use some of the tools that Google and the other search engines actually help provide us because, of course, they want to find the best way to be the matchmaker. They want the searching person to find you if you really are right. the best provider of that service. So they're really kind of on your side if you, if you kind of synchronize with them and work with them. So you can go to Google and use keyword search tools to say, okay, here are a whole bunch of words. Which ones are actually the ones that are being searched a lot? What are people using? And you'll get the answer to that. It's actually science. It's not just guessing. So we can measure that because, it's, because they're collecting all this data for us. And so we need to know so that you know which keywords are people searching, where are you showing up, you know, and because that's going to tell you which keywords have already become associated with you online. Right. And you want to know, are those the right ones? Because you may want to start developing a connection to new keywords if, if it's really not telling the story you want to tell. Right, because if you find you're not showing up in ones where you feel that you want to show up, now we've got to create some more content to get there. So this is why the assessment is so important. So we assess, and then we have a monthly monitor to make sure and see what it is. So now you go take some action. You want to find out that next monthly monitor did that action actually work for you in getting you those key word results? That's right. right? Yeah. That's right. Well, let's, let's move on. Yes. Wow, you were pretty good in that, Dr. Mark. You weren't too shabby yourself. Well, thanks very much. And that was one of 25 questions and answers that we have for you. That's right. We spent a whole lot of time. We really want you to get found online. So we went through 25 of these. This was just a sample, and we want to give it all to you. Well, where can they come and get all that information? Well, getfound101.com is the place to go. Sounds like a smart idea. So join us over there, getfound101.com, and get all 25 of these, getfound101.com. Thank you.